hello and welcome friends so welcome to the series of sqli database so in this video we will going to see how to uh, get all the data from the table so this is the simple app which i have created in uh, ionic in that uh, i am getting the student details on the front end so we will have one student table and uh, in sql database SQLI database and uh, from SQLI database uh, we are fetching the data data of the student and it is coming here so this is my mobile view which uh, I have uh, like uh, ran it from my chrome so let me show you how to run it uh, uh, you need to go on the chrome and then you need to inspect it and uh, connect your mobile and uh, on your uh, usb debugging mode and then uh, after uh, opening ionic app you will see ionic app running at uh, localhost slash home then you just need to say inspect and it will give you this window so this is my mobile window and i'm navigating from my uh, this one i'm navigating from my mobile and we are getting the details of the student so now let's start with the application creation so oh, for creation of this application what we need to do we need to first start with the uh, sq uh, like ionic start and put a project name and uh, you can choose any of the template uh, for starting the project so i'm going to choose the uh, side menu in this example so just you notice a cd and go inside the directory and uh, create the services as database so you can put uh, you can say ionic uh, g for generate and ionic generate service services slash database and ionic g page pages students then uh, we need to create one more uh, page for only individual student so after this uh, creation you need to uh, like install the sqlite porter so just uh, use this command npm install and ionic native then uh, ionic cordova plugin add sqlite storage to add the cordova plugin so that we can access the mobile native apis and all and then uh, you need to say add this sql light porter also in that example so after go after doing this uh, you will get your application ready and uh, then you will get uh, uh, like a structure like this so in that you will have home then list then pages and then services so you will have things like this so i have created already this application so so that uh, we will uh, do it in fast way so uh, you need to go inside the asset directory and you need to create a, a script.sql file so in that uh, will uh, we are going to create an sql uh, like uh, sql commands and we need to provide the table uh, command to create uh, like uh, how uh, to create the table in sqlite so we need to say student and then a student id as integer primary key auto increment and then text uh, class text and mark text so these type of uh, like uh, these are the types and uh, data types and these are the name of my column and then uh, we are going to insert like initial value we are going to insert in the table so you need to pass the insert command also in the same script so just say insert or ignore into a students value or a value like this so you can provide the value like this and just save it so as we have installed the plugins and all we need to import in our uh, app model.ts file so just import it so import sql light porter from this location and uh, sqlite from this location then uh, import uh, http client module also http client module and uh, here uh, as a provider we need to call the sqlite and sql light portal okay so after doing this uh, we need to go inside the app component.ts like uh, you will get some default uh, say like list and home so i have uh, replaced the list with the student and for student page i need to provide the app routing also so you can see like uh, the path has student and uh, then it will uh, directly route to my student page okay 
so we will get something like this and uh, like uh, for individual student i am calling this uh, like on the same route we are just passing the id and i am calling the student page here okay so this is for this say individual student route so after doing this uh, uh, like come to the database part so in that database service.ts file we need to import every uh, like uh, sqlite and sql porter and we are going to create a database and all so like uh, for doing the student related activity i have created an interface in uh, this same this uh, database service.ts file so you just create your student uh, uh, this one like uh, same blueprint like that uh, student id as number name as string class as string and mark as string then uh, create a variable like a uh, sql at object and uh, db ready then student is equal to new behavior behavior subject and then we are going to create a constructor private platform like this these all things you need to do uh, for creating a database in your application like uh, we are going to check uh, is uh, that, that application like uh, our database is active or not or it is created successfully in the mobile so we need to say this dot platform ready that plt is the for for platform ready then if the platform is ready then we are going to create a sql uh, database location as a default and uh, yeah, like then uh, we are going to create uh, we are go going to call the c database function in that time passing my script uh, and that this script will be uh, using porter we are uh, inserting this uh, like uh, we are uh, running that script and we are passing the data in this one then after that we are calling the load student function which will load my all the student details okay and then uh, in load student what i have did in that uh, like written this dot database uh, uh, execute sql select star from the student and in that i am uh, saving my data all data in the students uh, this variable so in the students i am saving the data and this students is the uh, array type of my student interface okay so this one is the students type and in that i am storing my database and uh, whenever i am going to call my get student data i will get the student details as observable so this is the part of the database service file then after that uh, we need to go inside the student page and uh, after going there you need to go to the student page.ts file sorry this is for the individual student we need to go on the students page so just go inside that one and student page.ts so this is the students so in that uh, we need to import the database service and the student on the front and after that uh, we are going to create the array same array of the uh, this interface and in that we are going to store the student data so this will have the all the student data and we are going to print it on the console first so this variable will have all the data so i just need to call on my html page so just go there in html page and you will get like using ng4 uh, we are going to call the let student of the student and we are printing this data uh, this this is the variable which we have defined in the interface so you just need to it just need to be same as same as the interface so otherwise it will give you the error then after doing this all this thing we just uh, run this command like ionic cordova build android because as it is a native application we cannot run it on the directly on the browser like the uh, same as ionic so so we need to call this function and uh, then it will start to run and it will give you the uh, like apk created on your directory so as you can see that apk has been created at this uh, platform android app build this location and in that apk app dot uh, app debug apk and as you will go there you will able to see this application and uh, just copy on your uh, mobile and run it and uh, just turn on, turn on your usb debugging option 
that it can be detectable from the Chrome and then you can inspect it and you will able to see the student application here so and in the console also you can see this one I like uh, device read event fired and then open database created like this and uh, these are the student details which I have printed on the console and it is going to print on my front page so like this uh, we have uh, we can create the application which will uh, get all the details of the student from the school -like database so I hope uh, you, you got uh, all the idea about the SQL database like how to get all the student data from the SQL database if you have any doubt then uh, please put in the comment section and uh, I will definitely reply on that and uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you